Hey there, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on with your monthly tarot forecast for April 2022. And just a quick reminder, we do also have a monthly astrology forecast already up, and you can find that by clicking on my avatar below, going to my main channel page, and you will see all of the videos and all the playlists of this channel nicely organized front and center for you. And a little bit of a tidbit, you know, uh, somebody asked me a question last month that I thought was a really good question about an approach I would recommend to looking at, say, the tarot versus the astrology on this channel. And I'm saying it that way because I can only speak for my content. I can't speak for what every other astrologer or tarot reader is doing. We're not a monolith, it's not a religion, and we're not all performing the same roles. And anyone who says that we are is just showing you all of the red flags in their cupboard. However, when it comes to watching my content, simply put, I would recommend looking at the astrology as sort of the weather report and the tarot as the traffic, right? They are different reports. They do sync up, but there are going to be things that stick out uniquely in each one. But you are going to be able to get a more holistic and complete view of everything that is going on when you look at the weather and the traffic. So that's all I got to say about that. If you are watching your rising sign tarot, you are getting additional clarity as to how a great deal of your sun sign tarot is showing up. And if you are watching your moon sign, you are getting the less prominent, albeit still significant, side story that's also playing out throughout the course of the month. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. This month, for your big spiritual theme or the big spiritual focus, you have the Four of Cups upright. And this is going to be a month where a lot of blessings in disguise and unappreciated blessings are going to make themselves known to you for what they are. Because the Four of Cups is all about seeing things properly that we are not looking at properly or we have not looked at properly. Sometimes this can show up where we need to reevaluate what it takes to get our attention. <laughs> because... Yes, with the Four of Cups, we may be looking for flashing neon lights and special keywords and affirmation, but sometimes it's the most humble things. It is the stuff that doesn't have to put on a dance for you or try to impress you that's actually going to be giving you the most, right? It's kind of like in Indiana Jones in The Last Crusade. When, you know, the Nazi guy decided the Holy Grail had to be the most bejeweled one and ended up dying. And yet the one that was the real Holy Grail was actually quite plain and unadorned and wasn't trying to impress anyone. This is going to be a month where a lot of things in the recent and less recent past, as well as maybe even some stuff going on in the present, are going to be taking you through some of those lessons. But the good news is, is even if you think you've made any mistakes, this is a time where we are correcting a lot of it. So you can still have all of these goodies in hand, but we have to adjust what we are looking for, how we're looking for it, and what we allow to get through to us. When it comes to your material circumstances, your work, your job, your finances, we do have the Ten of Swords reversed, as well as the Six of Cups reversed. And with the Ten of Swords reversed, you are getting an opportunity to revive something that is deeply important to you when it comes to maybe your career, your magnum opus, a financial opportunity, or maybe even a job opportunity or a big move you wish you could have made in the past, but it was not able to be seen through. Now, this can sometimes happen in cases where we did have something that was going somewhere and then it collapsed, and now it's back up again. This can be seen as a resurrection kind of focus as well. For a lot of you Piscean people, this is going to be a new version of something that you had before. If you have already been at work on something that resonates with this, be prepared. That is going through a major growth spurt right now, all throughout the course of April. You may also find that with the Ten of Swords reversed, you are getting a chance to correct a misstep in the past that is going to make up for lost time very, very quickly. When it comes to the Six of Cups reversed, you're also going to be getting set free from some kind of entanglement, vicious cycle, burden, or obligation financially, 
or maybe professionally that has been controlling or limiting you or your growth or your career growth or maybe something that you're trying to accomplish with a living situation. Because the Six of Cups reversed is letting you off the hook. Whether this is something we are turning aside from or something that is getting cut loose from us, of course, that's going to remain to be seen for what's going on in your experience, but it is cleaning your slate and cleaning your plate. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, other people in your life, you do have the Two of Cups reversed as well as the Eight of Swords upright. With the Two of Cups reversed, I am seeing there may be a need to reassess a plan of action that we may be taking in one of our collaborations, alliances, or maybe in a team that we are on or a family arrangement that we are engaged in. Because with the Two of Cups reversed, there does seem to be a power struggle that is occurring. This may not be between you and another person. This may be a power struggle that you are witnessing happen. Maybe it's happening in another household. Maybe it's certain members of a team that you're a part of. Maybe it's family members or friends where there seems to be a lot of bickering and a lot of backbiting and a lot of bitching going on. Sometimes what can happen with the Two of Cups reversed is that a conflict that other people are having is threatening something that um, we are working on or it's you know potentially going to spread, right? Not everyone knows how to keep their crap between them and the person they have their crap with. And there may be some needs to some need to redraw the boundary or take our leave of something that is electing to, you know, take a ship down. When it comes to the Eight of Swords upright, there may also be another story that we have to really take some time to see if we want to remain involved in. And it does look like something, a vicious cycle may end up getting started up with either a relative or um, an associate that is falling back on either uh, their ways, backpedaling out of progress that they have made, or maybe trying to reinvite negativity into your space. With the Eight of Swords, we do see somebody that knows that they can do better and they're fully aware of the problems in their conduct, but they are choosing to do this anyway. Maybe they identify with it. Maybe this is something that they don't feel is as negative as the consequences of their actions would actually prove. But this is not something that you need to be holding on to anymore or something that you should be maintaining either with or for them. When it comes to your challenges this month, we do have the King of Pentacles reversed as well as the World card reversed. So the King of Pentacles reversed as a challenge. Um, I, I do feel a lot of you Piscean people need to pay attention to who you decide you're going to give leadership powers to in your life. Sometimes what happens with the King of Pentacles reversed is that we end up in a situation where somebody thinks they own us because they know how to compensate us. And we always have a warning about maybe allowing ambition or reward or money speak for us beyond what is fair. You know, being, you know, having ourselves be bought or having our soul be bought or maybe something that is near and dear to our heart be sold out. And that could come up this month because with the King of Pentacles reversed, we've got to be careful when it comes to those that might try to help, but they may actually be commandeering. The world card reversed is also indicating a positive challenge that you've got to be ready for. Because the positive challenge of the world card reversed is an opportunity for a do-over, something that we do get to reconnect with, but it may be something that still invokes a sense of self-consciousness or it invokes a sense of insecurity. This could be exactly what we talked about with the Ten of Swords reversed revival or this could be a blessing in disguise as it relates to the Four of Pentacles upright or maybe something going on in a more personal way or a personal aspect of your life. 
But with the world card reversed, something that does not have to stay quiet, stay down, or stay locked up or hidden is getting a chance to be revisited and done over and embraced by you. But sometimes good things can make us feel uncomfortable because it forces us to you know, clear all the feelings we may have had or developed about something that we may have lost, never got to develop, never got to explore, or um, what was going on when we decided to move on from it. When it comes to your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, we have the Nine of Cups reversed and the Hangman reversed. And even reverse the Nine of Cups can still indicate some wonderful news. And I do see wonderful news in love and romance. Because with the Nine of Cups reversed, we are seeing a wish or a desire being granted, or maybe a, um, a certain intention or uh, aspiration you have being reciprocated by another. So this could be, of course, uh, a spouse, uh, or romantic partner, or for those of you who are single, available to new people, or have been maybe testing the waters or seeing somebody recently, I feel like this is going right there. The thing about the Nine of Cups reverse, though, is indicating that there may be some external factors that need to be cleaned up or squared away in order for whatever this wish being granted is, or this affirmation and confirmation is, uh, in order for it to become real and in order for it to really have its day, a lot of adjustments have to be made environmentally, personally, and between all involved. Sometimes this can be tough because the Nine of Cups reverse is saying, look, all magic comes with a price. And usually the price we pay for something good is giving up something that we're attached to that we don't need anymore. When it comes to the, a, the Hangman reversed, we have this opportunity for another big break, kind of like the Six of Cups reversed. And a lot of you Piscean people may be finding that a transition or a shift in attitude or circumstances in a partner's life is allowing you to be free of something that maybe your relationship, your marriage, or your family has been stuck to for a very long time. With the hangman reverse, this could indicate possibly a change that is very welcome on a partner's job front, or maybe a change that's going on in their, in their family that is enabling this relationship to go in a new direction. And for those of you who are single or available to new people, the hangman reversed is indicating that if there has been a challenge getting something to even get to square one with either a crush or somebody that you've been seeing recently, this is going to be the month where a lot of impediments, distractions, and obstacles are falling by the wayside. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session with me, go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.